What if AI could see the world like we do, predict what happens next, and act on it? Meta just built that. Meanwhile, OpenAI says the singularity is already here, and Hollywood? They're suing to stop it. This isn't just news, it's a roadmap to where everything is heading. Let's get into it. Meta just made a $14.8 billion move that could reshape AI as we know it. While most headlines focused on its blockbuster investment in scale AI, the real story is what came next. The surprise launch of VGPA2, an open-source world model that doesn't just process video, it understands physical reality and predicts what happens next. This isn't science fiction. Meta claims VGPA2 allows AI systems to grasp unfamiliar objects, navigate brand new environments, and even plan ahead by simulating outcomes before acting. It's a breakthrough that could power the next generation of robotics, autonomous vehicles, and AR experiences. Unlike typical generative models that focus on images or text, VGPA2 works in latent space, reconstructing missing parts of a video without ever touching pixels. This makes it incredibly efficient and vastly more scalable. It was trained on over a million hours of video, millions of images, and just 62 hours of robot data. Yet it can already outperform previous state-of-the-art systems. On benchmark tests like Epic Kitchens and Something Something V2, it shattered previous records, showing an almost human-like ability to anticipate physical actions. Where things get even more impressive is in robotics. Using an upgraded version called VGPA 2 ac Meta showed robots performing pick-and-place tasks in zero-shot settings. That means no prior training, no fine-tuning for the environment, just drop it in, and it works. This suggests we're getting closer to AI agents that can learn about the world like a human child would, by watching, predicting, and experimenting. And because VGPA2 is open source, Meta is clearly inviting the world to build on top of it. But this isn't just about better robots, it's about building machines that can think ahead. And if that sounds familiar, it's because OpenAI's Sam Altman just said something eerily similar. Coming up next, the CEO of OpenAI says the singularity isn't a sci-fi event. It's already here. And surprisingly, it's kind of chill. If Meta is building the infrastructure for machines to understand the world, Sam Altman believes we've already crossed the threshold where machines are starting to shape it. In his latest blog post titled The Gentle Singularity, the OpenAI CEO delivers a message that's equal parts bold, calm, and chilling. He argues the singularity, the point where humans lose control over technological progress, isn't coming in the distant future. It's already happening. But unlike the doomsday warnings we've heard for decades, Altman describes this shift as smooth, incremental, and his words, surprisingly gentle. Altman claims the hardest part of AI development is already behind us. Getting to GPT-4, he says, was the true scientific leap. Now it's just about engineering, scaling, and refinement. That's a striking statement from the person leading one of the most powerful AI companies in the world. In Altman's view, the future of AI won't be determined by code alone, but by the people with the best ideas. As intelligence becomes too cheap to meter, he believes creative thinkers, not just engineers, will shape the next wave of innovation. He also drops what many are calling a disguised product roadmap. Altman predicts that by 2025, we'll see advanced cognitive agents that can code, debug, and deploy full applications from a single prompt. By 2026, AI scientists will be uncovering insights we've never seen, discovering drug compounds or business strategies humans miss entirely. And by 2027, OpenAI's brain will be powering physical robots. Not built in-house, but integrated into platforms from companies like Figure AI. Of course, there's a catch. Altman openly admits the future hinges on three massive variables. Solving AI alignment, avoiding regulatory chokeholds, and scaling infrastructure as fast as models evolve. If those break, the risks he warned about years ago still loom large. And speaking of risks, some players aren't waiting for the singularity to arrive quietly. Coming up, Hollywood just filed a lawsuit that could decide the future of creative AI. Disney, Marvel, and Universal are taking mid-journey to court, and the outcome could rewrite the rules for every AI company on Earth. While OpenAI imagines a world of super-intelligent agents and gentle transitions, Hollywood just declared war on that very future. In a move that's sending shockwaves through both the entertainment and tech industries, Disney, Universal, Marvel, Lucasfilm, and others have filed a landmark lawsuit against the AI image generation company Midjourney. Their accusation? That Midjourney is essentially a piracy machine, one capable of churning out endless knockoffs of some of the world's most iconic characters. The lawsuit, filed in California federal court, is the first major action taken by Hollywood's biggest players against an AI firm. And it's aggressive. 
The studios allege that Midjourney's model was trained on copyrighted visual assets scraped from across the internet, including protected characters like Yoda, Spider-Man, Elsa, Shrek, the Minions, and more. The complaint includes dozens of side-by-side -side comparisons showing user-generated images that are nearly indistinguishable from the originals. In their own words, the plaintiffs describe Midjourney as a bottomless pit of plagiarism and a virtual vending machine for copyright theft. They're not just seeking damages, they're demanding a jury trial, a permanent injunction, and a public reckoning over the training practices of AI models. And what's striking is that unlike other AI companies that have reached licensing agreements with content creators, Midjourney apparently ignored multiple requests to halt infringing activity. The stakes couldn't be higher. At the heart of this case is the question, is it legal to train a model on copyrighted data without permission? If the court rules against Midjourney, it could force every generative AI company to either license their data or fundamentally redesign how their models learn. And if Hollywood wins big, this won't just be about image models. It could open the floodgates for lawsuits against AI music generators, video editors, and text-based tools alike. But while studios fight to protect the past, a new kind of AI creator is building the future. And the lines between inspiration, imitation, and infringement are starting to blur. From predictive world models and cognitive agents to billion-dollar lawsuits and AI-powered copyright battles, it's clear the landscape is shifting fast. Meta wants machines that can plan and act. OpenAI is sketching a future where ideas are the only limit. And Hollywood? It's drawing a line in the sand to protect the creative legacy of the past. The collision between these forces isn't coming, it's already here. And what gets decided in courtrooms and code bases over the next year will shape how we create, interact, and live for decades to come. But here's the one thing everyone agrees on. The world will never go back to the way it was. Whether it's a gentle singularity or a turbulent upheaval, we're heading into a future powered by machines that see, think, and act. The only question is, who controls what they become? For more deep dives and interactive AI demos, head over to AIN.news. And as always, thanks for watching. See you in the future.